Hi and welcome back to another video for your soul evolution. My name is Erin and I help people to evolve spiritually and to awaken to new perspectives. Mm. Today I wanted to share with you three things that will happen when you focus on gratitude and fully embody the attitude of gratitude. You probably hear a lot of people talking about having an attitude of gratitude and what does that really mean? Well, to me, an attitude of gratitude is when you are truly embodying an awareness and a consciousness of how thankful you are for everyone and everything around you. There is always something to be grateful for, whether you're grateful for your family, your children, your partner, your job, that you have a roof over your head, that you have clean water, that you have a Starbucks down the road. There's always something that you can focus on that you have. So the first thing you will notice in your life as you adopt the attitude of gratitude is that you instantly start to raise your vibration. When you're focusing on all the things that you're thankful for, that creates emotions inside you that just radiate out. When you have positive emotions, you have positive thoughts, you have a positive state of being. The HeartMath Institute has already shown that the electromagnetic energy around our heart space is thousands of times more powerful than that of our head. So whenever we are bringing an awareness more into our heart space energy, anything that we do from that place is extremely powerful. Whether we're trying to manifest things, or just be thankful for things. It's very powerful when we fully embrace that from our heart space. As you radiate that positive energy out to others, that also will increase the collective consciousness energy and the energy of those around you. Because as you go out to the grocery store or Walmart or Target or wherever you go, when you have all of that gratitude in your energy space, you actually come into contact with other people's energy space. And as yours is powerful from the gratitude and the positive energy, then your energy will kind of overpower theirs. Whereas most times if you go out somewhere in, into public and you're already in a negative place, and you come into contact with other people's electromagnetic energy because it radiates far out from your body. As far as electromagnetic energy goes, it's kind of whoever's energy is more powerful as to what you can be attached to. So if your energy is really amazing and positive, then that has an effect on other people around you. So that will also keep negative energy from attaching to you because your vibration is so on point. Raising your vibration can heal you on all levels, body, mind, and spirit. Whenever you have a high vibrational energy and you're on that high vibrational frequency, it is almost impossible for sickness and illness and things like that to attach to you because you're so out of alignment with that because our natural state is health and unconditional love. The second thing you will notice with your attitude of gratitude is that you attract more things into your life to be grateful for. We know that we're always being given a reflection of what we are putting out into the universe. So when we are putting out gratitude and being thankful and in appreciation for all the wonderful things that we have, then the universe is gonna say, well, you like that? Here's some more. And throw more things at you that you can be in appreciation of and be grateful for. And that goes for anything. So you always wanna be aware of what you're putting out into the universe because if you're putting out something negative and you're not being grateful, then you're gonna receive more things that you're not grateful for, things that you don't wanna experience. So you always wanna be conscious of what you are putting out to the universe because you're always gonna get a reflection of that back into your life. So make sure it's unconditional love and gratitude that you're putting out. The third thing that you will notice as you focus more on gratitude is that you are more present to the moment. Most people do not live their lives present to the moment. They're focused on the future, and they're projecting their energy into the future because we subconsciously believe that something in the future is better than the present moment that we have now or what's currently in front of us. 
or there's also people that are more focused on the past and things that have happened in their past that they're kind of hanging on to instead of just releasing and letting that go. So when you're focused on the present moment, you are in total admiration and adoration of everything that's going on in your life in that moment. All we ever really have is this now moment because the future is just our imagination and our past is just memories. So I challenge you to be more aware of what is going on right now in this present moment and being grateful for everything that we have. So maybe when you get time, reflect on that a little bit and be become aware of what thoughts you're thinking in this exact moment. And think, are you projecting into the future and imagining scenarios and thinking of other things? Or are you thinking about the past and things that have happened from your past that you really could let go and have a better experience here in this present moment? Sometimes it's really challenging to, to do that, but we really need to strive to check in more with ourselves throughout the day. Think about what you're hearing, what you're smelling, what you're tasting. Be conscious of your breathing and if you're breathing like shallow breathing because it is a lot more beneficial for your body to take in those good healing breaths. So check in with yourself throughout the day and just have an awareness of if your thoughts are for this present moment or if they're in the past or future and try to become more present when you can. I think being grateful and having a better attitude about the things that we have in our life that we could be appreciative for is really underrated. And I try to tell as many people as I can when you're focused on things that you don't have and the things that aren't going right in your life, then that's what you're bringing more of into your life. But when you're just grateful for what you have and you realize that you're whole and complete right now in this moment, then the universe will bring you more things to be grateful for. When you're focused on lack, you're getting a reflection of lack in your life. When you're focused on an abundance of love in your life and, and all the wonderful things that you have, a nice cozy bed, a car to drive with air conditioning, whatever it is, you're going to receive more things to be in appreciation for. So this is something that is so easy to do and can be so powerful in your life. So I encourage you to do that as often as you can and wake up and think of five or 10 things that you're grateful for just to start your day and start your day with gratitude and see how your life begins to change. Instead of waking up with the same old attitude of, oh, I gotta go back to work and I've gotta do this and I've gotta do that. Just try it and see what happens and see how powerful it can be. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you know someone who would benefit from it, please share it. If you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe to my channel if you're enjoying my videos. And until then, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.